seriously who gives me access to adult money i shouldn't be allowed to have a bank account at this stage this is ridiculous <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're finally getting around to doing my Black Friday haul and the reason it took so long is because I was waiting for a lot of them to be delivered because I live in Ireland and we have issues with deliveries and things coming from America and EU stuff and Covid stuff and Brexit stuff and all the stuff is affecting all the deliveries so a few of them have only arrived there a few weeks ago and then I just didn't get around to actually doing it so here we go, here I am, we're here to do it now and I'm excited. So this is my haul of 2021. The plan for 2021 was that I was not going to buy anything until my birthday which is in June and then not again until November which is Black Friday. So that was like my two points of the year which I'm kind of trying to stick to as well this year even though I have already broken it but I have a reason for it and I will tell you in a minute. But I wanted to kind of not just keep buying, 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 buying and I'm giving myself a lot of work to do with doing videos, with all this kind of stuff because I already have a year's worth of palettes to review, do two looks on palettes, all that kind of stuff for you guys. So I'm doing the same this year where I'm only going to buy on my birthday unless something really, like I, I really have to have it or uh, on Black Friday as well. So they're the two times of the year where I'm allowed to buy stuff. Now, I did break this already. One Thing I ordered was a package from Fortune Cookie Soaps for one reason and one reason alone for one ring and one ring to rule them all it was a Lord of the Rings collection that they did and I just had to have it and I got the whole bundle so I might do a little video unboxing that if you guys would like to see that let me know that down below I had to have it I was gonna buy it video or no video I was gonna buy that because I just had to have it and I will keep all the bottles and all the packaging because it's so cute and the second one is a makeup one it is one that was a sale and I couldn't stop myself and it was the day after I had gotten my booster shot of my vaccine so I felt really sad and not well so I was like I want to buy something for myself so I bought 17 Terra Moons shimmer shadows shimmers being some multi-chromes some chameleons some duo chromes and some basic shimmers 17 of them spent a lot of money but there was a sale so I'm happy about it and I will do a swatch fest video of that for you guys as well because I'm so excited but that won't come until after March because it's a pre-order so a lot of them won't be shipped until March so whenever they arrive you will get a video on it. Now as for Black Friday of 2021 I did damage. I did damage. I remember spending two hours ordering online everything that I wanted on my list. I had about three different lists going. One was like just check these out and see if there's anything you want. One was you definitely need to get these and the other one was the stuff I actually ordered then so I knew for myself. But yeah I ordered from many different places. We are gonna go basically brand by brand or order by order if that makes sense. So some so, so like I ordered from Beauty Base that's a lot of brands together. I ordered from Cold Beauty again a couple of brands together. So I'm gonna just do them order by order so you can see what I got. Now after a long and winded intro I will just say before we get straight into this video that this makeup is filmed it will come up on my channel soon or it's already up I'm not sure you'll see it and it'll be also up on my Instagram for pictures and TikTok for weird things so it's all linked down below so you can see that if it's already up I'll link it down below if it's not then you'll have to subscribe and wait and see. So let's start with the non kind of fun makeup thing that I got. Well, I mean, it's fun because it's it's a helpful thing. I decided to invest in the Eye Glow Lash Maximizer because a girl that I used to work with used it and her lashes became amazing. I did use Rapid Lash, which really worked for me, um, but I just wanted to see if this was any better. Do I notice anything major right now? I've been using it for about three weeks four weeks on and off as I say on and off I haven't been using it every night so I know that that's a, an issue because with rapid lash you had to use it every single night I need to be really more dedicated to that so I can't fully say if it's me not using it every night or if it's the lash serum not doing its job I wouldn't say I know it's a massive amount of difference but I I do notice some difference though so I think it's just a me error so yeah I did buy two of them because they had a, a deal on two of them for 75 I think it was and um, where they're normally like 55 each so so I don't know I'm gonna say prices here I don't know <laughs> so yeah I got this one and I got a backup because when I order my rapid lash usually on beauty bay I order two at a time if they're on sale because it's a good deal next up then is gonna be cult beauty so I was this I mean I was like can you see can you see there I was that close to actually ordering a Natasha Denona palette I was gonna get the glam palette I was I was gonna do it and then I decided not to I don't know what it was I decided not to I kind of I don't really regret it 
No, I don't really regret it. But I, I'm still curious as to the formula. I want to know if it's as good as people say. But I don't regret not getting it. So anyway, I got a different thing instead. First thing I ordered and I knew I was definitely going to get was I got a mini size of the Milk Makeup Hydra Grip Primer. I didn't get the big size in case I didn't like it. I do really like it, so I will definitely get the full size next time. Um, but this is lasting me quite well. I really, really like it. It really reminds me of the um MAC Time Check Lotion or it reminds me of... It reminds me a little bit of the Fenty pro filter primer that one reminds me a little bit of that as well there's a good bit of grip obviously it's hydro grip it's supposed to grip your makeup but still keep your skin quite hydrated it's not a mattifying one i really like this especially if i'm going out on a night out and i want something to last this is what i'll grab some of these like i obviously some products i have actually used because it has been a few weeks um the palettes i have not touched i have not touched any of the palettes so far this year except for swatching purposes so i will you will see them in action as i do so for the first palette of the video, I have got, also ordered on Cult Beauty, I got the Wild Jaguar palette from Huda Beauty. It's one of those where it kind of changes. I don't know if that'll pick up on camera. Kind of changes. It's the dark one. I was going to get three of them. I was going to get the Tiger and I was going to get the Chameleon. But the Tiger wasn't in stock on the website or they hadn't got it there. And then I was like, well, then I don't really want the other one. I was just going to buy the three of them to buy the three of them. I did want the tiger one, the neutral one. Weirdly enough, I did want that one. But look, I had to get this one. This was just, let me just turn it this way so I don't blind you. Look at this palette. Now, this shade, again, I will say it in all palettes that have this. I don't need that because it can use your face powder for that kind of idea. And it doesn't work for every single skin tone. It is a matte beige skin tone shade. But the shimmers, the, the mattes, the dark... The colours, the duochrome, the shiftiness, oh my god. If you want to see swatches of any of these, they will be within the videos of me using them when I do those videos because I don't want to swatch them and ruin them just yet. So look at it though, it's so pretty. There is a little up close look for you guys. So you can see all the beautiful shiftiness and how beautiful and smoky and grungy this is. We've gone grunge this year for our, our palettes, so expect a lot of that next next year this year okay so some kind of stock up miscellaneous a couple of random things here <laughs> i'm just going to kind of grab as i see them so we're just going to go through it so the first thing i can see here is a suva beauty hydra liner this is the uv hydra fx liner it's the water activated liners i got the shade acid trip it's a painful orange painfully bright orange oh my god i haven't even touched it yet i haven't used it yet i really want to do something really fun fun liner graphic liner dots or something i don't know i want to do something fun with this and it's uv activated so i think that'd be very cool especially if i was going on a night out because restrictions have been lifted in ireland as of me recording this video so i don't know if that's going to change but that would be very fun if i gone on holiday or something like that i think it'd be fun yeah i can't wait next up then another painful color this is the sample beauty liquid eyeshadow in the shade oomph which is this like acid green oh i had to get this i just had to this would be really fun again to do like a graphic kind of eyeshadow sort of look like a big thick wing or something like that like oh my god i have swatch it on my hand and it is beautiful let me actually swatch it excuse that mark there that's from the eyeshadow that i was using earlier but look how painfully bright that is it's so beautiful it does dry down matte there's no shimmer in this one but i think then you could put any shimmer over top of it if you wanted to but i just think that'd be such a fun liner as well dries down completely and it's such a beautiful shade so sample beauty i think is like a sister brand to beauty Bay. i'm not too sure actually but just while we're on on that track i got the beauty bay bb203 brush which is this guy here i actually used it in my look today so i remember to actually grab it and it's not clean so i do apologize for that but it's just the most beautiful like domed fluffy brush it's got such a beautiful shape to it it's a great size as well it's fluffy and big enough to give you a really blown out look and really diffuse edges but also keep it compact and so you can have a bit of control i actually really want to get a few of these brushes because this is the kind of big fluffy brush that i love and it's super soft as well so soft next up then i asked in one of my videos i can't remember exactly which one i think it was like my nomad palette something um for recommendations for an olive green liner it's one of the colors i don't have in my collection and someone recommended the nyx epic wear liner stick in the shade all time olive 
I have used these. These are beautiful colours. These are beautiful formula. This is like a shimmery olive green. And I'll show you there. That's how it looks there. You can see. So it does give a nice bit of depth. But it still is really golden olive green sort of shade. Perfect for your grungy looks. Perfect for a green smoky eye. Perfect for an everyday green as well. Because... And olive is a great everyday green for a lot of people as well. Then I haven't actually opened this yet because I'm still using my other one. But I did want to get this as a backup because it was only like a fiver. So this is the Juno & Co Microfiber Sponge. This is the Rose Velvet Sponge. Just the pink one. I didn't pick the pink one for any reason. I have a kind of bluey one. So I just picked it. I do like a microfiber sponge. I don't use a sponge very often I will say. But microfibers are quite nice. So I, I just decided to get another one because I know I will use that other one up it's up there that's why i keep looking over there um i will use that other one up eventually so i might as well have a backup ready to go and then a replan product for me i use this a lot most of the time when i'm filming a video of and i'm going to be putting makeup on because it's a great moisturizer for under makeup this is the embryolise la creme concentre and this is my backup i have a full one basically that i got during a sale I think on Beauty Bay but I picked up another one because I just I always use this it's always on hand for me great one if you're a makeup artist it works for a lot of people's skin tones not too greasy but it's still very moisturizing I don't mind a thick rich moisturizer I don't mind feeling a little bit on the not greasy but like you know creamy side so I love this um but again not greasy it won't affect oily skin or anything like that and then this guy is a bit of a random one but a very useful one for us gals out there and I think a lot of people should invest in this. I've used many different things and I do like these quite a bit. So as girls, you know, the time of the month comes along. You know, you get your period and you know, it hurts. It hurts. Yeah. I don't get, I will say I'm very lucky. I don't get cramps the way I know a lot of girls do. I maybe get them for a day or two and then they're kind of gone. I am on the pill. So I'm, this is a lot of TMI. I didn't think I was going to get into this. But we're going there anyway. But these are the BU Monthly Patches. Natural ingredients released over 12 hours. Discreet and comfortable. They basically look like a giant like band-aid. Like a giant plaster. Um, and you just stick it to your skin. They have got in them. Let me just see. Oh god I won't be able to. I won't be able to pronounce a lot of these. <laughs> I just. I should have pre-checked pre this. Uh, it's got mentha. Piperita, menthol, aerial parts, I don't know what that means, eucalyptus globulus, <laughs> eucalyptus oil and leaf oil, 5% not 10% and yeah these just they kind of I always feel like heat patches I feel like like these kind of um almost like a deep heat kind of sensation are almost like a distraction from the pain which I really like these are fun I will say with these just a pre-warning if you do put one on you I think some no one everyone has told me I don't but I think I smell like deep heat then after a while <laughs> and you can smell it off me but a lot of people have said that they can't smell it off me and they're really honest about it but I don't know I think they can and they're just being nice to me but just for yourself, if you're going to have a day of just lounging because you have cramps and hurts, these are great. I do use heat patches as well. So I kind of go between whichever one I feel like. You get five in a pack, by the way. So I do try to, when I get down to like two in a pack, I try to order another one. Or from Dinner Beauty order, I'll always throw a pack of these in. I think they're like seven euro. They're not that expensive. And then on to BH Cosmetics. So I have a pair of lashes. So I got the M204s. They're like this. So they're kind of... A little bit spiky, still a little bit fluffy, but definitely have like very defined parts to them. So they're not super fluffy, but they do have like a softness to them. I think they're going to be great in like uh, halo eyes, in just a lot of ones where I want my eye to be really open. That's what that's going to do for me. And I do love BH Cosmetics lashes because they look really well. They're only three or 50. You cannot go wrong. And then finally, 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 I know I'm last on the planet for this one. The Blueberry Muffin Palette. I had to. I had to get it. Angelica Nikvist just absolutely talked me into this one. She personally talked me into it. She didn't, but she did. So that's what this one looks like. It's, oh God, it glares a lot this is going to be difficult but it's very cool toned you've got depth you've got some neutrals quite blue gray like champagne -y sort of heavy and I really like I think it's a very interesting color story I'll do a little up close for you guys so I hope you can kind of see that there all the colors I hope the glare is not too bad from the holographic background but yeah look at it 
I think I'm going to get some fun, nice, simple looks, but also I can go a bit darker. I can go quite soft, whatever you kind of feel like. So yeah, expect that bad boy on the channel coming this year. I say coming this year. I don't know when I'm going to get a chance to upload any of these, but I'm plowing through. I am plowing through. I am pre-filming because that's what I got to do. And then the last kind of also random thing from Beauty Bay. This is from My Kit Co, which is a very big makeup artist brand that they sell a lot of like clear bags, um, disposables, brushes, things that help makeup artists with their kit and things like that. And I always order these. I always order one pack a year or one every other year. I've been ordering them for years and they're my favorite. These are face charts. So they look like this. I do a lot of face charts when I'm bored. I love a face chart. I think you get 25 in a pack. No, 15 in a pack. And I have, and I use this cardboard thing to store them until I'm ready to put them into a folder. I do them when I'm bored, when I, inspiration hits me, when I'm doing my Halloween looks, I plan them out in this way. I I use it as a form of like expression. I like in a, it, the way some of my paint picture, I would do it on a face chart because that's my medium. I love doing face charts. I think it's very fun. And these ones look like a real face because I used to use the MAC ones and they, they don't look like a real face. These actually look like a realistic face where you've got an eye, eyelid, like there's structure to the face. So I think these give me a little bit more of a bit more, I don't know, of a realistic look when it comes to my expression then and seeing how it would actually look on a face. I do also think it slightly has the same eye shape as me so it does help as well if I'm planning my own looks on it if I know it's going to work for me. So that is all for Beauty Bay. So we're gonna move right on and we're gonna get into ColourPop. So first thing I'll just mention here is the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer. And I have the shade here, Fair 15W, but I do also already have Fair 07C. So it's C for cool, W for warm. This one is too light for me. This one is fine. I like it slightly lighter than this, so I actually have both now. So I ordered this first, it was way too pale for me. It's like white. I know, look at me, I am, but like this is even paler than me. So that tells you a lot. This one, however, is just, it, it's a touch warm for me, but I don't mind that because I have this one. I'd be mad if, if I only had this one, but I get away with it, it's fine. I got this one in a slightly darker shade than I thought. I would actually go up one, like one shade lighter than this one, the 15 warm just so I, I know it's definitely going to be the one that I like, but because I had this one was too light, I got this one slightly dark and I can mix them. So I'm not wasting anything. I'm actually getting used to them all. And then I got some fourth ray beauty stuff because I did use the, what was it called? Their like rainfall hyaluronic acid serum thing. I really liked it. I actually really liked that. So I got a few more bits serum wise because I love a good serum and I, I was a bit low on serums. I'm not anymore because of my Kiehl's advent calendar. But I was then. So <laughs> the first one that I got is the Blue Light Protection Serum Boost Super Fruit Shield Antioxidants and Anti-Pollution. Whether I think this does anything for that, I don't know. It just looked quite interesting. I'll take it out of the box here so you can see. So it's kind of like a, a clear bluey kind of colour. Um, yeah, I don't know if it's going to do anything. It wasn't that expensive, so I don't know if that means anything. What is a boost? A boost is a targeted dose of botanicals for healthy looking skin that's lightweight and fast absorbing. Mix and match for your skin's daily needs. It does contain lingonberry, a true superfood densely packed with antioxidants that are known to help shield skin from blue light emitted from electronic devices. Again, whether that's true, I don't know. It looked interesting, so I got it. And I like a good serum, so I can't, can't go wrong for me. And then the next one I got is the avocado and aloe. I love a good aloe for, for the skin. It's always agreed with me quite well, and avocado is quite moisturizing. This is like a duo phase one, so you, you give it a good shake. 
I don't want to right now because I like how it looks and yeah. Um, this one is a double shot serum, superfood goodness, antioxidants and nourishing. This one's got avocado oil, known to be rich in antioxidants and essential for fatty acids. It's got cucumber water, again a great one for dry skin. Healthy, um, supports healthy hydrated skin and aloe known to replenish hydration and soften. So another serum, um, I always love a good serum. I do go through serums quite quickly. So I like having a good few of them on hand and I love trying new serums until I find one that I love. Ones that I do like actually, just if you guys want to know, I've got dry dehydrated skin. I, and I do get breakouts hormonally, so I can't really do anything about them. I love the Vichy Aquilea Thermal serum one of my favorite serums ever 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 i haven't had in ages because i've had so many other serums to try but that is always top of my list i've been really liking the dr jart ceramiden serum i can't think of what it's called now oh i have a sachet over here moisturizing treatment this one serum moisturizing treatment i do also love the moisture retention shield i've used that a few times so i just this is just a little sachet that i have so yeah but they'd be kind of my favorite ones to use at the minute um or over the years i've used like the vichy one and stuff like that but i do like trying new ones and as if that's not enough serums for me i also got the fourth ray beauty head in the clouds face milk set so it's all different colors it's so cute i kept it in the box and i'm going to keep it in the box for a while but on the back here it has everything you've got watermelon papaya turmeric matcha acai 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 i don't know um and it tells you what each one will do for you so you've got balancing revitalizing illuminating energizing anti-pollution it's great the way they have it like literally listed out for you so you know which one will be good for what i will say today um, earlier on I just did a bit of skincare this morning but I didn't want to like heavily do it because I knew I was going to film so I put on I just did micellar water like cl cleanse my face micellar water and I used the watermelon one in this it's so good it felt so nice I would just use these as serums I don't know if they're supposed to be used as serums or if they're like kind of moisture treatments or anything like that I'll probably use them as serums but it felt really good. I did put moisturizer on after a while afterwards, but it felt really, really nice. So I'm very interested in these now that I've tried one of them. I'm so happy about it. And we're moving on to the fun stuff. So the makeup, not that much makeup really, apart from like the concealer. And I've got um, one palette and a few single shadows to go through from Colourpop. So I just have this like really old palette that I actually store my press glitters from Colourpop in here, but I just moved them out for this video. I bought a few of the single shadows that were back in stock. I will say this one I ordered twice accidentally. So this one is called Say I Do. I accidentally ordered it twice. My fault, not their fault. Nothing to do with that. Um, the main reason I did this is because this shade came back in stock Mary Jane, which I really wanted. And I also want to fill up my palette. So I have one matte palette, one shimmer palette. Wanted to fill them up because I do have ideas to do with my single shadows and I wanted a few more to kind of branch out and have a bit of option going on here I just kind of got random ones fair, it's in, there's no real rhyme or reason to it. I just bought ones that I thought I would like this one is so beautiful Diego is called and it's so pretty that one just there Mary Jane is the reason why I got them I'm very interested in this this is a very beautiful shade even though I got two of them I don't need two I might leave one of my boyfriend's house in one of my palettes up there but yeah, some kind of teal bluey kind of shades. I don't have bright blues from Colourpop. And then more peachy kind of shades, which I do have a few of, but it's always nice to have them. But yeah, I just wanted to kind of branch out a little bit more in their single shadows. They haven't had them restocked in ages. They did restock them all there not too long ago, but I did hold back on actually getting them. I was, oh, again, I was, oh, I was this close, but no, I did not. I decided not to and then I ordered Terra Moons instead so I'm definitely not getting them. <laughs> and then the last thing from Colourpop is going to be the palette that I bought. The palette that I should have bought last year but it was out of stock and then once I placed my order for my other palette, the That's Taupe palette, realised that it came in a bundle with this other palette and I was very, very angry about it. I was fuming. Not with Colourpop, with myself for not looking. Oh, I was so mad. I could have got two of them for a deal as well. I wouldn't have minded, but it was a deal on. So I got the Making Moves palette. I've been wanting this palette for so long now, about two years, I would say, or however long since it came out. It's a mauve palette. It's a mauve neutral palette and it is beautiful. Look at this. I am 99% sure that this shade here is a super shock to me. It looks and feels like a super shock. You've got more rosy tones, more purpley tones, but you still have a bit of neutral, still got your kind of almost coloured neutral shimmers. 
again something like this i don't really need in the palette unless it's like boa from the that's taupe palette then i'm fine with it because that did show up my skin so that one might but i think that that's as light as i need in this palette so yeah i'm and and then this one down here is a matte with sparkle in it if you can kind of see that kind of got pink and a little bit of like a silvery sort of sparkle here you can see it there which is not my fave but it looks pretty and i think it's gonna be a really nice color for blending although they look very similar now oh anyway i think i'm gonna get some nice looks out of this i think i'll get some nice rosy looks out of it i would probably like the uh or kid you not palette as well because it's in that same vein it's a little bit deeper so that's a bit more my vibe but i'm very excited to try this and even compare it to the that's taupe or do a little palette bingo with the that's taupe that'd be fun okay and then next we're going to move on to some liquid lipsticks we're going to do these liquid lipsticks and it's all palettes from here on out so all the fun things going i have wanted some black moon cosmetics liquid lipsticks for the longest time and they had a deal going on and they had bundles going on and i was like here we go we're gonna get a few so i mentioned in my wish list last year that i wanted like four different ones it was the emperor cider slime and bones i think was the other one bones i didn't get but the other three i did get so i'm gonna go through them and show you so the first two that i'm gonna show you weren't in a bundle together and then i've got two bundles to show you so firstly I got cider. I got this one. I'm so excited to use this one. I think it's going to go so well with a lot of the palettes that I have for this year and palettes that I have bought over the years. It's such a yellowy mustardy sort of shade. That's how it looks there. So pretty but weird and I love it. I love weird colours for the lips and all of these are pretty weird for the lips. There's only one of them that I'd say was kind of normal but yeah that is cider and I've been wanting that for so long. The next one that I got is Emperor. So the cider is a matte one. Emperor is like a metallic liquid lip so it will set but it's just shiny super super shiny and sparkly. So that's how Emperor looks there. It's like an olive green like a really really dark black and green with gold and green sparkles in it very beautiful cannot wait to use that either so pretty and then i'm gonna try and remember the names i think one was creature of the night which i think was this one the um this bundle was ashes and gloom so i'll swatch these now in a second the other one i got was the slime bundle because i just had to but we'll go for ashes first because that's a gray and that's very fun I love a grey liquid lip. You'd be surprised how how like it suits a lot of people. You wouldn't think it, but it does. So that is the ashes, which is the grey. Again, this one's gonna set down to a matte finish. So pretty. And then I have gloom, which is the more normal of these colours. More like a brown, kind of in almost like burnt spice for MAC, which is one of my favourite colours that MAC have ever come out with for the lips. But that is gloom maybe a little bit darker than burnt spice as well and then we have the slime bundle which look at it i mean you could pick this for me if you wanted to so let me show you the black the black one is called sleepwalker which is one of their most popular shades it's got a different wand though from the other one so i don't know if this is an older sort of type very liquidy so i think these actually need to be mixed up a little bit but yeah this is also going to set down matte i know it's quite glossy there but it will set down to a matte finish but black <gasps> love it and can never have too many black liquid lips in my life i actually think how many have i got i've got mac and i've got about four of those <laughs> because it, that's my favorite one i've got juvia's place which i haven't even worn yet i've got lunar beauty sure well i have this one now so that's my fourth one but yeah that is sleepwalker and i'm very excited but black is a staple in my life staple and then the last one is slime which is the beautiful neon acid green and this one has sparkles in it so it's i wouldn't say it's as shiny as emperor but it does definitely have sparkles like silver sparkles in it it's gonna be hard to find looks to wear this one with but i think i will find them but yeah look at that so that's how that one looks that is slime and so pretty oh my god i cannot wait to use these i haven't even i've, I've put on cider just to try it on i didn't really do a look i was in only in from work they had arrived and i put one on to see what they felt like i'm very excited to get into these so happy with those 
and if I do really like them I'll buy more like normal shades pinky shades purpley shades that kind of thing okay now it's all palettes I have got six palettes to show you now from two different brands one brand I have ordered from before one of my favorite formulas in my whole collection one of my favorite shimmer formulas and one of the best silvers and golds that I have in my whole entire collection if you watch a lot of my videos you probably already know which brand I'm talking about they're expensive I bit the bullet it hurt a little bit to order these but I got there in the end and once I have them I'm always like oh I'm so happy I did it so I'm very happy so the brand in question is give me glow cosmetics I got the vivid rose there is vintage rose as well which has more greens in it I do quite like that palette as well but this is just look at it look at it and dark and mauvey and bright and neon like more neon and shimmers again this one I think could have been a shimmer maybe a really really pale pink shimmer or a pale lilac shimmer something like that but these colors here oh my god like that will show up on my skin but that one might not I just feel like maybe one more shimmer and I would have been over the moon with this palette and I am over the moon with this palette don't get me wrong but I think it's just that kind of shade I just always I'm never really drawn to it but I think the color scheme the tones the depth, the brightness, the shimmers that go with them, I think are beautiful. Yeah, I definitely would have maybe made a shimmer that was more like this color. That's that's kind of what I think I would do. But anyway, minus that, I think this is going to be so beautiful. Such a fun, springy sort of palette, whether it goes, the video for this goes up in spring. Who knows? But <laughs> you'll find out as soon as I do. So yeah, I love that and I can't wait to get into it. And yes, I still have the boxes off them because I can I always find it hard to throw the boxes out and I don't know why. And then tell me that you know Give Me Glow Cosmetics, what they released recently. And tell me you already knew that if I was going to place an order, I was going to order this palette. The Bad Witch Club. Oh my God. Like when this front got released, i pretty sure I made a noise. I'm pretty sure I squealed a little bit because it was so beautiful and it's witchy themed and it's Halloween-y themed. It says season fall. So I don't know if they're going to do it seasonally, like a witch club for the seasons, like a spring witch, a summer witch, a fall witch and a winter witch. I'm not sure. I don't know. But oh my God, this is what I'm talking about. Again, I maybe would have added one more shimmer. I don't know what I would have replaced it, replaced it with, but I probably I would like just one more than three. I would have liked four. But look at the contrast in this. You've got the green and jewel tones. You've got the purple the peach against this blue. I'm going to have to do something with that little corner there, I think. And maybe a peach shimmer. I would have maybe popped in a peach shimmer and maybe got rid of one of these purple ones down here. But, oh my God, is this palette going to be so beautiful. And Give Me Glow's formula is beyond amazing. So the shimmers, I have all the faith in. The mattes, I also have all the faith in. I think with this, like, how dark these colours will probably go with the right base underneath it. Oh, yeah. It's gonna be good but the names and everything why the resting witch face uh let me spell it out for you relax it's only magic don't make me get my broom i love it i love 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 it give me glow beyond anything just bring your damn shipping prices down. i almost completely forgot a brand before we get into the last brand because that's all palettes i almost completely forgot about this because i technically didn't order this on black friday because this is actually one of my christmas presents from my boyfriend and but he ordered it on Black Friday, so technically it's still a Black Friday order. I just didn't buy it for myself. My boyfriend got it for me for Christmas. It's from Kaleido, so I did another, a, a big enough, um, a big enough order. So yeah, let's go through it. So I knew I wanted these guys, but my boyfriend was like, you're very close to free shipping. So he was like, is there anything else you wanted? But then I was like, the shipping is only eight euros. So I don't really know why you're asking me to get more stuff. But he was like, do you want more stuff or do you not want more stuff? And I was like, I want more stuff so I picked out three more things so we're gonna go through a few of the bits that I got so I'm gonna go through a few of the bits that I added into my order the kind of extra bits so I got the tone activating eye tone activator eye primer very nice kind of a peachy sort of tone I don't know if you can see it like on the very tip there it's a bit peachier than my skin tone but once it's actually on the eye you don't really notice it, it doesn't set um it's not as creasy as the P. Louise base in fact it's not creasy at all I'm not even I'm, I don't know why I said it like that it's not creasy at all it's really really nice and quite tacky and I really like it so I'm, I'm excited to try a few different formulas and see how they work with that I like getting used to a new eyeshadow primer that's why I, I kind of have my 
three or four that I go between so this is a nice new one that I think I'll actually get along with and it's a bit different from my other ones so it'd be nice to use. Next then I got the Blue Agave Softening Lip Mask. I don't usually go for stuff like this. It is very nice, kind of has a bit of a sparkle in it but I did wear it once and it was minty and I really liked it. I think it was minty anyway. Um, it felt minty to me. Yeah, there's menthol in it. So it was definitely minty that I was feeling. But I don't normally go for a lip mask. Again, this is something I wanted to add in just to get the free shipping for him. And I am very happy I actually got it. I very I kind of get really excited when I'm, when I'm going to use it. And when I look at it and I'm like, oh, you're really pretty and I really like it. So I got this one. They had the one from the Apple collection that they did. This one is the Agave one, but I feel like I was like, I kind of like the look of this one better. I don't really know why. I just like the look of this one better. And I'm very happy because it is that minty sort of feeling. So while we're on to lips, I'll go through the lip products that I did get. I got another tin um, with four of the Cloud Lab lip clays, which I've learned to say quite fast. So let me swatch these for you guys. So I specifically picked these ones myself. So you add them into your bundle. I had to send my boyfriend all the pictures of all the colors I wanted from it. God love him, he had to go through them all. So the first one I'll show you here is Adobe. This is from the Apple collection of the nude set. I'm so happy you can pick your colors now that go into these boxes. Um, and you don't even have to get a whole box. You can just buy one or two. But at first these were only in a bundle. So it's kind of a warmer neutral. I do tend to like a cooler neutral. But it's the coolest of the ones in that box. So I was kind of happy to have that one. And it is a nice colour. I think I would actually get a bit of use out of it. The next one then is June. Which is a little bit more cooler toned. And a little bit darker as well. It kind of has a little bit of a rosiness to it. These swatches are awful. But yeah, that one there, it's a bit more rosy, but still a little on the cooler side in the same family though. So again, I can kind of see why they're in the set together, but very nice. And I do love this formula as well. And then the deep and dark. So, I mean, I had to go for these ones. I have Queen of the Night, which is, which one is this one? Yes, this is the kind of berry, purpley, blackened berry sort of colour. Oh God, I did these swatches terribly. Let me pull my skin up so you might be able to see that. That's how that darker one looks there. If you can kind of see the purpliness to that one, it's very pretty. And then the last one is Scorpion Fruit, which is, okay, it's not black. Again, it's purple. Again, it's even cooler, but it's even darker. So you could definitely say it's black if you really wanted to by looking at it, but it's not. It's definitely in the purple family. I can see it on the wand, like when I pull it out like that. So it's definitely in the purple family. Can you see the difference there? So it's definitely dark. You could definitely say that's absolutely black, but it's not. I'm telling you it's not, it's purple. But yeah, I have to get to two dark shades. I really, really want them. Okay, so as I said, these were the two that I originally picked out of the Space Age highlighters. I got Star Surfer and Skywalker, but to add into the order, I went and got Ray Rider as well. I'm so happy I added this in because I've used this quite a bit. So let me just swatch them for you guys. So we'll start with Ray Rider, which is this kind of, Almost like a peachy golden sort of shade. These aren't like as duochromy, multi-chromy as Space Age Prophecy or the Space, Space Age Gifted, which is the newest one that they have out. Or some of the other ones like um, Mars Melter and things like that. The Skywalker is a duochrome though, but it's just, it's still on the softer side. So just so you can see, it's just like a golden champagne with slight bits of pink in it. I'll do up close ones now in a second. The next one is Star Surfer, which is the more pinky tone, which is one of the first ones that I picked for my order. And that is that one there. Definitely more icy pink shimmers and silver shimmers. And then the last one is Skywalker has like a blue sort of iridescence off us. So I'll give him a swatcheroo. I haven't worn this one yet as I'm filming this video. Hoping to use it soon though. Use the mark from the lip swatches underneath these swatches. I should have cleaned them up better. So I don't know if you will be able to catch those in the light. Ah, there you go. Look at that. Can you see the difference between them? So I don't like mental duochrome highlights except for that Space Age Prophecy because that was just stunning. I like it to still have a clear base to it so you can see when it's not hitting the light, it's pretty much clear. And then it hits the light and it's like bam in your face. That's what I like. So I, I do like a duochrome, but they have to have a clear base. They can't have an already colored base to them. So that's why I like these three. And that's why I picked these three as well. And then the last thing that I ordered or my boyfriend ordered for me that I picked 
and this was the main thing I wanted as well, which was the Kaleidos Futurism 5, 6, 5, 6. Lunar Lavender, that one. It's the purple one. I knew I was going to get this because I got this Sashimi City, which again, I still haven't used yet and it's coming up this year. Trust me, you're going to get that soon. But I wanted this as well because I love these six pan palettes. I think they're so beautiful. Let me do up close for you guys. I'm hoping you can see the duo chromes in this. There's a little bit of neutral. I don't really know how that dark brown is going to work with the purples, but we're going to give it a try anyway. The shimmers in this are stunning. I might be able to do like a, a neutral crease with like an iridescent lid in a softer kind of way. Oh, so pretty and I'm so excited for it. I cannot wait to bust into this and the sashimi city once I get around to it as well. Okay, so that is Kaleidos done. That is the bur the Christmas stuff that I got over Black Friday. So we're gonna move on to Odin's Eye. And I got a mystery box from Odin's Eye last year at the beginning of the year. And once I used the formula and got used to the formula, I got a kind of, I got the Alva palette and the Alva mini sky palette as well. In that plus lip products and a highlighting palette from them. I knew I was gonna have to buy more. So I wanted to delve deeper because they were more neutral shades, delve deeper into the color stories that really interested me on the site now that I knew the formula. So here we are. I got four palettes. I was gonna get the second highlight palette, the Salmon 2, but decided against it because I've I, like, look at me how many highlighters I already got. So we're gonna move on from there. But the first one I'm gonna go with the very small. This was from the Norns collection. This is the mini eyeshadow palette, the, uh, Okay, I don't have an accent for this, okay? The Urd, Oud, Oud, Urd, Urd, I don't know. This one, the green one, look at it. So it's the green, look at that mossy sort of shade, the iridescence here, and then look, <gasps> look at him. And then this color, the depth, the light, the depth, the color in between, the blend you're gonna get with this palette is gonna be beautiful. The shimmers, that green, oh my God. I have to do a whole, look with this palette i will be doing a first impressions and a two looks on palette using this as i did with my last mini palette from them but this one i like as soon as this palette got on i was like that is me in a color story that's my slytherin palette as a slytherin gal that is my slytherin palette so if you are a slytherin and love a slytherin aesthetic this is the palette for you to go for next up then is from the saga of freya collection the chapter two cat with the golden carriage and this is the Freya palette. Uh, no, Cat's Breath palette, sorry. I always say it's the Freya palette, but it's not. This one, oh, in that weird color story. I know Kaleidos have a color story like this, but I feel like it's a bit more limiting because it's only six shades or they had one of this, I don't know. But anyway, it was like a teal and orange and this is teal and orange as well, but you've got a bit of depth with the neutral brown. There's more kind of interesting, like this color here, like, oh my God. So you've got like marble shades, you've got speckled shades with all these different colors in them. These shimmers and this one down here, oh my God. I did little swatch videos of these, which are on my phone, so they won't work for the um, aspect ratio for YouTube, but I will post them as I feel see fit for my Instagram story. So go follow my Instagram down below to see all up close kind of shots of these palettes and then we go back to the norns collection this is the norns palette the big norns palette and this one i knew i had to have as well i was so excited about this palette because again it is dark it is deep there is jewel tones in this palette this color up here is nothing but spectacular these shimmers are all kind of duochromes and special shades down the bottom here and for some reason this shade right here just does something to me. I don't know what it is about it, but it does. You've got a red, you've got dark in this row here. You've got this duochrome sort of color up here. This silvery shade here. It's just a color story that's gonna really challenge me. I don't mean it challenge me in, a, in it's too hard to use. Challenge me in a way where I'm like, I want to use everything. So how can I possibly fit everything into this? And I'm just so excited. It's very shimmer heavy now that I look at it though. So I'm, I'm interested in that now. Yeah, I'm so excited about this palette. And then the last palette, which unfortunately is being discontinued, but I did buy it because I wanted to buy it and do support her. So I had to get it and I will be doing a video on it because I'm not, not doing a video on it. And you just have to deal with that. I'm hoping you guys are all have it as well. This is the collaboration palette with Annette from Annette's Makeup Corner. And this is the Giant Wolves palette. And look, and I'm so happy Annette's one had the Wagos on it. Wago meaning doggo, doggo meaning Wago. 
That is what me and my boyfriend call all doggos. Even though they're wolves, they are still doggos. And look at how beautiful the front of that is. Also, when you buy one of these palettes, so there was three from, I don't watch the other guys, and that's not the reason I didn't buy the other ones. This is the one that spoke to me the most, and I couldn't talk myself into buying any more than the four palettes from Odin's Eye. But when you do actually order one of the palettes, or all of the palettes, you get a scarf just in in with it and this is the one that goes with this palette so you get one to match each palette and this is the one i got here isn't that stunning i might drape that somewhere on my wall or i might i don't know i don't really wear scarves like silk scarves that are this size i usually go for like knitted scarves that are really long and i like wrap them around me loads but something like this i could drape somewhere so this last palette here the giant wolves palette is again dark grungy heaven and interesting weird shade heaven look at her look look there's a pink blue it just, i feel like this is a very annette color story she's interested in color and darkness a little bit like me as well but more colorful and you've got the weird shades the grungy colors that really speak to me here just the shimmers in this palette are so beautiful i'll do up closes for you and you see those the duo chrominess and some of these shimmers again i've swatched them they look wet on the skin absolutely wet so absolutely spectacular formula can't wait to get into this one okay guys so that is the black friday haul finally i know it took me a while but i was waiting on deliveries and then a work caught up on me and then but you got here in the end so you know what's coming for the year i am so excited to get into these things the odin's eye palettes like they're giving me heart palpitations that lunar lavender palette oh my god I cannot wait to use the highlights more. I keep using them. They're so pretty. I am so excited to play around with the serums that I got as well to see how I like those because if they're because they're not that expensive so that they'd be good if they really work for me. And yeah, I'm glad I did a little replan. I'm glad I kind of restocked on a few bits. As I said, I have too much makeup. I will be doing a declutter at some point, probably throughout the year. I'll throw in a declutter video of a section of my makeup. I'm not doing hardcore declutter. I don't do hardcore de declutter. I do have sentimental attachment to some of my makeup, which I know is silly, but I do. And I also like my makeup. Even if I if they're not my favorite palettes, I still like them. I bought them for a reason. I knew I was going to like them in some way. So I won't be doing hardcore uh, declutters, but I will be getting rid of a good few bits, like lip products and things like that, things that are dried up, things that are old, colors that I just don't wear, I just don't grab, textures I don't really like. So things like that I will kind of pass on. I will not be sending them to anyone that asks me. I will be giving first dibs to my mother because she always gets first dibs, second dibs to my best friends, third dibs to the gals and work, and fourth dibs to the girlfriends of my friends who also enjoy makeup and want things that, or things that I think will actually suit them. So that's the way I will be doing it and that will be happening throughout the year. But none of the stuff that I've shown you here will be decluttered because I love it all and I'm attached to it all so that's that's the problem i i get very attached to all this stuff like i would never get rid of any of my kaleidos eyeshadow palettes because i'm too attached to them now I, I would never ever even if i was like oh that's my least favorite one i still wouldn't get rid of it because i'm attached to it i can't i yeah i'm a hoarder what can i say anywho enough of me rambling i hope you all enjoyed the haul video for today and my black friday haul i will do more hauls in the future whenever i do buy an abundance of things which will hopefully be towards the end of the year but yeah, if you did like the video, then give me a big thumbs up down below. It's the quickest, simplest and easiest way to get me a little bit of support. Get me around to more people and also know that you like the video and I will continue to do more. And you can expect more things of all the products that you've seen in this video on this channel coming up this year. And hit subscribe down below to see all the videos of the products that I've shown you here on this on this channel so you can see it all in action and live and ready to go as i said in the beginning my instagram is linked down below with the look with pictures from this look on it whenever it does go live and many other things and if i do any up close swatch videos or anything like that i will post them there as well plus my tiktok is down below where i post some weird things too and then finally guys let me know in the comments down below what are you most excited to see coming up on the channel is there a palette here that you're most excited about are you excited to see me use some of my highlighters, lip products? The Black Moon Cosmetics lip products. I keep forgetting about them. And yeah, what did you get over Black Friday? I want to know what you got down below. So I think that that is everything for me, guys. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.